What are the worst fad diets out there for fat loss? Hi, you're watching part three in a seven part series about fat loss. If you've just started this series, I would recommend going back to part one and understand the best way to lose fat while gaining muscle. And part two to know which type of diet you can follow to kickstart your weight loss journey. However, if you want to know more about the fad diets to avoid while trying to lose weight, then keep watching. There are many fat loss trends that are not backed by scientific research and can be harmful to your health. These must be avoided as much as possible as the long-term effects to your health can be detrimental. In this video, I cover the top five fat loss trends that are generally something you should avoid. Hi, I'm Rishi and thanks for stopping by my channel. I'm a practicing nutritionist with a background in human physiology and nutritional sciences. I take a holistic and scientific approach to all aspects of health and wellness. I practice functional medicine and use food and lifestyle interventions to manipulate hormones in order to optimize one's nutrition, promote longevity and healthy aging. So if you want to hack your health span and be the best version of yourself, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss anything. Number one, crash diets. Fad diets that promise quick weight loss in a short period of time are the ones to watch out for the most. These diets often involve severely restricting calorie intake cutting out entire food groups or relying on unproven supplements. These types of diets are not sustainable and can lead to muscle loss, nutrient deficiencies and other health problems. Most importantly, you might drop the weight quite fast and at the cost of your health, only to yo-yo and gain it all back, if not more, and just as quickly. Number two, extreme juice and soup cleanses. Juice and soup cleanses are also known as detox diets that rely very heavily on low calories coming from liquid sources only. These can lead to nutrient deficiencies, fatigue, and weakness. If detox is really what you're aiming for, then perhaps fasting is the way forward. Check out my video on fat loss through intermittent fasting in the link in the description. Number three, unproven supplements. There are many supplements on the market that claim to help with weight loss, but the vast majority of these have not been proven to be effective. Some may even be harmful to your health. So be wary of any supplement that promises quick and easy fat loss. Number four, Quick weight loss programs. Be cautious with any program or product that promises quick weight loss without the need for diet and exercise. These kinds of claims are usually unrealistic and not based on sound science. Number five, extreme low carb diets. Some low carb diets such as the ketogenic diet can be effective for weight loss and improving certain health markers. But some extreme low carb diets may be dangerous, especially for those who are very active or have certain health conditions. Know more about this by watching part four in this series. It's important to remember that losing weight and body fat takes time and consistency, and that there's no magic pill or quick fix to make it happen. Losing weight quickly in the short term is not the difficult part. Rather, keeping it off in the long term is when things start to fall apart. A sustainable approach to weight loss will involve a combination of healthy eating, regular exercise, and patience. If a diet or product seems too good to be true, it probably is. And it's always best to consult with a nutritionist or a registered dietitian before making any significant changes to your diet routine. And if you're struggling to lose weight, check out my programs on rishidhinger.com to understand how you can achieve your fat loss goals and sustain them over time. There's also a bunch of other valuable content on there to get you started in your health journey. Thank you for watching.